Hey guys, it's me, Christina from Rocky Pig Games again. How are you? So, as I told you in the last video, I got my box, my under three from Amazon, and it arrived. And I want to put it together, um, just like some of you who may not have assembled a printer before, it's a little bit intimidating. I do have a whole room full of Prusas, but I bought them assembled and not as kits. Uh, so they were pretty much ready to go out of the box. However, I have done a lot of repairs on them, so I have learned a lot about those particular printers. But as far as what I'm getting when I open the box for the Ender 3, it's a whole new ball game. So as I'm reading through the instructions that came with the printer, it's literally nothing but diagrams. There are no words. <laughs> so, um, I always read the reviews on Amazon, so luckily when I was going through the reviews, somebody had mentioned that on their website they have an instruction book that you can download. So I, I did that. I do have that on my computer. Um, it does have words and pictures that match this diagram, but it still is pretty technological. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting when I put it together. I'm not going to put it together right now. I just want to go through this kind of unboxing with you so you can see what's in there and what you can be ready for. Um, before I show you everything that came with it, I took a few notes and I just wanted to tell you really quickly, I got my printer on Amazon. I have Amazon Prime and uh, my account is hooked up with Amazon Smile, so I have a portion of everything I buy that goes um, to a pot belly pig rescue that is on there. So I use Amazon for just about everything. It's quick and it's easy, and they're pretty good with their return. Okay, so I paid $240 on Amazon for my printer, and I also bought an extra glass bed, which I believe was around $25. Um, if you get it on their website, they have a special right now where it's $200. So you can get the same kit that I got on Amazon for $240 on there for $200. Um, they also have a pro version on their website. I did not get the pro version. I watched some video reviews from people that did. And to me, it just didn't really make sense. I don't know. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, let me tell you what the differences are that they reviewed and you can decide if you would rather have that. Um, the pro version comes with a flexible magnetic bed. So if you don't know what that is, it's just kind of a sheet that goes on top of your bed and you can take it off and it flexes. So whatever you have printed on there, instead of having to scrape it off, it'll just pop off. Uh, I could buy that for my printer too. It just it comes with it for the Pro. Um, it also has a name brand power supply. It's supposed to be a little bit quieter and heat up faster. Other than that, people that reviewed it didn't really see any kind of a difference in the performance itself. Um, it also has like an extra stabilizer bar or something on the Y axis. And the reviews I saw said there was no difference. They thought that, if anything, their original one, um, the cheaper version, was more stable and sat more evenly. And um, there was basically overall no change of the ease of use or assembly. So that is the difference. Their pro version is $260. Their regular version is on sale right now for $199.99. So... Those are some things that you might want to know. Um, the Ender 3 itself, the one that I have from Amazon, has a resume print, which is really nice. If your power goes out, if you lose power, it will resume the print when you start it again. That is a really good feature um, that the Prusa i3 has that the other ones did not, and I have made use of that several times um, during power outages and storms and things like that. Uh, other than that, they claim it to be pretty easy. Uh, on Amazon, it says it takes two hours to assemble with 20 nuts. Um, on their website, 
people say it takes 10 minutes to put together. Uh, looking at the directions, it's not going to take me two hours and it's a lot more than 20 volts. So we'll see what actually happens. Um, the bed size is 8 by 7 by 9.8, which is plenty big enough to print all of your Rocket Pig Game parts with ease. And it takes 1.75 millimeter PLA, which is pretty standard, and that is what we use here at Rocket Pig Games. So, let me try to show you the parts that came with the printer. So the box itself is, it did not come in a big box. Uh, this is the box that it came in. So, when I saw that, I was like, okay, cool. This, this is pretty, not too much to it. So then I opened the box, and everything is nice and neatly packaged in there. And I will just quickly go through these instructions and tell you what I found. So they have it uh, listed, um, steps 1 through 12. And the diagram that you get is very basic. Pictures only. So the major components for step one are the aluminum profiles, whoopsie, the aluminum profiles, which are going to be your left and your right bars, and uh, I'm not going to list all the nuts and bolts, they just come in all these baggies and they are labeled, they're labeled pretty coherently. I think that I will be able to figure out what's what. Yeah, I have little stickers on the baggies. So you got your profiles. And then for step two, the major components are the screen and the power supply. Here's the power supply. And this is the screen. This is your LCD screen. Step three, the Z axis limit switch. That is this part right here. Step four, talks about the Z axis motor, which is this right here. Step five got a little bit foggy for me, but I eventually figured out, and I think I'm right, that this is the extrusion assembly that they are referring to. The picture doesn't look anything like this part. <laughs> but through process of elimination, I think this is what it is. So that's that. Step six talks about the nozzle kit and the pulley assembly. The nozzle kit and the pulley assembly. That would be this is the pulley assembly. And the nozzle kit is actually attached to the base already. And this is sort of heavy, but let me try to show you. Oops. Without it flipping around on me. Okay. So there's the nozzle kit right there. The nozzle, you can see the nozzle sticking out of the bottom. And this is the base. And very happy to see that this thing is already put together. So there's that. That's the biggest part right there. And that's all attached already. And then we have step seven, which talks about the belt. And step eight, the belt tensioner. So this is the belt tensioner. And this is the belt. It's very, uh, a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there's all kinds of belts 
on the Prusa, and they're thicker and wider and bigger than this. So there's that. Step 9, 10, 11, and 12 all have lots of little parts and little nuts and bolts. And I'm assuming that's what all my little baggies that I showed you are filled with. So that is about it. That's about everything that comes in your package. You also have this uh, the spool holder that goes together. And you get a bunch of tools, you get the scraper, you get some zip ties, which you can never have enough of, just for reference. If you take your stuff apart a lot to make repairs, you're going to need a lot of zip ties. And all of your hex wrenches that you're going to need, um, some nice little pliers in here. That's about it. So when you have it all laid out in front of you, it does not look like much, and it does not look too complicated. Um, I briefly read through the um, optional instructions that are on the website, and the wording for someone who is not technologically savvy makes me want to laugh and cry at the same time, but I think with this and maybe watching a few other people who already assembled it, I think I'll be able to get through it, hopefully in their two hour limit. Or I might feel a little bad about myself, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and I'm going to try to videotape it. We'll do some time-lapse footage in there and hopefully you won't see me have a breakdown. All right guys, so I want to see you Get one of these printers because $1.99 is one heck of a price for a printer that has this many fantastic reviews. And when our Kickstarter comes out, you are going to be crying if you didn't get this printer because you're going to be ready to go. We're going to have files ready for you right out of the gate as soon as the Kickstarter is over so you can get going. So make sure you get one of these and get it while it's on sale. You don't want to miss out. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you on my next mind-melting video when we put this sucker together. Have a good night.